Hey DSMS, it's Guy. And Derek. With your May 16th edition of DSMS TV News. The only club meeting today after school is... Ceramics Club will be meeting in D8. Remember, all library books are due by Friday. We have 105 books out right now and we need to get those back into the library. So get those in please. And now to a special annou announcement from Mr. Hummer and Mrs. O'Boyle. Good morning, Sidewinders. We are here this morning to tell you some very exciting end of the school year news. First, teacher appreciation. Uh, we're celebrating our teachers this week. Yesterday, our Sidewinder PTOs treated our teachers to a really wonderful lunch. But you know, it's really our students who are closest and spend the most time with our teachers. So we hope you'll all find small ways to appreciate the teachers that we have here at Desert Shadows who've led the way uh, throughout your seventh grade or eighth grade school experience. How about y'all stand up right now and give your teacher a round of applause in your classrooms? Now that is a very small thing that you can do. I hope all of you can be thoughtful about that special teacher or special teachers uh, who've made a difference in your uh, school experience this school year and find, way, find a way to honor them uh, you know, as we head into the last weeks of school. Now, I am here to talk about a really exciting day, and that is the 8th grade Wet and Wild field trip. That is coming up next week. Of course, you all already know that we have stopped taking permission slips and payment for that trip. So I am talking to those of you who have turned in your permission slips and paid for the trip and are approved to go. Um, before I get going on specifics, please remember that this field trip is a privilege and anybody who has some questionable behavior between now and then could lose that privilege of attending that field trip, so keep that in mind. What I'd like to talk about with the Wet n Wild are some expectations about the field trip. Uh, while you're preparing to go on this trip, you may be thinking about which one of your lovely bathing suits that you're going to wear on the trip. And first, Mr. Hummer and I have an image of what we expect you to wear while at Wet n Wild. Is, it, is that a wet suit or a dry suit? Either one. I just think they look fabulous and we don't want to see one inch of skin on anyone. It's so. very kind of superhero-ish. Correct. And we'd like everyone to go purchase a wetsuit between now and then. Just kidding. Maybe not. <laughs> so yes, of course it's a water park. You can wear your bathing suit. But what I'd like you to remember is when you show up to school in the morning before you board the bus, you need to be in normal school-like attire. So if you want to wear shorts and a shirt, that's fine. But you don't want to just come to school in your bathing suit. You need to come with normal clothes on. You can have your bathing suit on underneath. Now when you're thinking about that bathing suit, remember it's got to be sort of modest enough that it's covering your private areas. So if you have questions about that, you can come see me personally, but really just want to make sure you're covering yourself uh, like you would if you were going to the beach with your grandma, right? So we want to make sure all those areas are covered. Think about bringing things like sunscreen, a cover-up. It is going to be very warm when you're there, so we want to make sure you get plenty of shade, you're covering your skin, you don't get dehydrated or heat stroke, anything like that. So just think of those things when you're preparing for that trip. But we are very excited. Yes, and ask that question beforehand about your bathing suit. If you feel like it may not cover up everything that needs to be covered up, talk with Ms. O'Boyle, your teacher, or your parents to make sure that it's right. If we have students that arrive at Wet n Wild without the proper swim attire or something that doesn't cover you up, you might find yourself on the sidelines waiting for someone to come from home to deliver a bathing suit, and that would be unpleasant. So what other news do we have? We want our students to make uh, wise choices as we head down these last days of school. Um, today is the meme day, and we noticed that there are students that have masks on. Some of them are, are, are funny and interesting, and, and I like it. I saw them before school. And before school, at lunchtime, and after school may be appropriate times for you to have a mask or to do something a little more elaborate. Uh, but let's respect our class time and our teacher's time. Uh, also between classes, that is not the time to be wearing masks or to be doing silly things with, with your memes. Let's reserve that for before school, after school, and then during that, that window at lunchtime. We also want to make sure that students are being safe. So if there's anything unsafe about your costume that we might notice, we might ask you not to do that. So if you're doing something like covering up your face and walking around where you might bump into something, uh, we might just suggest that you take that off and that's just for your own safety. Other than that, that's the news from Mr. Hummert. And I'm looking forward to seeing some bungee jumping Barbies today in Miss Saley's class. Take care, Sidewinders. <laughs> Uh, 
Hey, DSMS, it's Kane with the birthdays. The only birthday today is Lily Hoffman. Now back to the anchors. And don't forget to season your food. We're, We're back. back. That's all for today, DSMS.